You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your general weekly reading this week. Now, Leo, I also do your weekly you versus them reading, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like. I also just did your, uh, like a week or so ago, Leo, your uh, urgent spirit guide messages. I'll leave a link to that as well if you're interested in that. Um, I know a lot of people enjoyed it, so I'll just leave a link to that if you're interested. But when it comes to any of my readings, Leo, my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Leo, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you, Leo, I'm not going to be offended by you not taking some tarot cards and receiving them from me, right? I realize it's not personal. Now, if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones did and how they did because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? Um, and then if you do find some cards that resonate, I would really appreciate it, Leo, for you to take the time, extra time to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Leo, before you get into this reading, this card, uh, this card, this <laughs> a card flew out. Uh, <laughs> that's why I said it. But this re tarot reading here is just to give you some perspective, Leo. I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine. So take the cards that resonate, leave what doesn't. Um, remember that this reading here is just to give you some perspective, some food for thought, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, right? So uh, yeah, let's just start getting into the general messages of things now. Uh, Leo, before we get into the nitty gritty, uh, let's get into this. Why did these cards? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot an extra card came out for y'all. So Leo, for your general energies, we'll get into the Oracle card first before the tarot. And we have the mutable moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. Now, this is probably like, I mean, n no one asked, but like for this moon deck, this is honestly probably like one of my least, top three least favorite cards usually just because it's, I feel like it's just such a, it should go without saying, especially when it comes to like the future. If you're receiving a reading, right, you kind of, there's, it's always like kind of known and over set of where it's just like nothing is set in stone. The future can always change, right? So I feel like I dislike this card in the sense of usually where it's just like, okay, this is so repetitive. It doesn't need to be included, right? But I feel like this is a key part for you, Leo, just in the sense of, because I don't feel like I'm talking about anything in the future for you of what's to come. Um, I feel like you kind of need this reminder to lessen some of your anxiety. Um, I don't like, <laughs> it's something that's a weird side message, Leo, but I just like, whenever, um, I'm like getting teary eyed now. Leo, I'm pretty sure it's always you guys. I always end up getting emotional for y'all's readings. I don't know why. Um, I actually don't ever like have Leos in my life to connect to. So it's weird that I just, <laughs> but, um, I was just being shown this, uh, just like, super weird but i'm just like obviously there's so many leos i don't know who but i was just like sitting next to i knew it was like some leo and we we're just like watching a sunset and i was just like i just like like i could feel like and i can even see um just like i'm like literally like i'm about to cry um i can see uh just like you just like having like this breath of just being able to just like release right i feel like you'd kind of just been like on and just like super um stressed and super anxious for what is to come and like maybe i feel like some things just really right now in your life leo have been some hardcore struggles for you and i feel like there's like this sense where i feel like you're kind of like losing your light or losing hope a little bit because is where it's just like you're just dealing with a lot and so i feel like this card comes in more so for you leo of realizing or just as like a reminder that like Tough times are not always going to be there. I promise you, I don't know how, I don't know what it's going to look like, but I promise you at some point it's going to look better. Just take that moment to breathe, right? Um, major Arcanas. Well, you got all Major Arcanas, honey, <laughs> for your general side of things for the tarot. You got the Tower card. You know, whenever we have all the Major Arcanas, I already know it's like big shifts, big things happening. And just even with the cards, I'm like, oh my God, Leo, it's making more sense. Tower card. I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. Something kind of coming into your life that really shook your core, shook your foundation. And that's 
where you kind of need that reminder being like, hey, like, yeah, lightning struck just like a few minutes ago, a few last week, honey. But just remember that there is a life outside of the chaos. There's a life outside of the recovery mode of this, right? And remind yourself of like the life that you are trying to get to. The wheel card comes in as well, where I feel like, uh, take it as you will, Leo. I understand just from a personal perspective, just how annoying this would sound. Um, I feel like this tower moment was essential for you. Something with, that really shook your foundation, even though you're probably taking it pretty hard, honey. Um, I get the sense that it was just necessary to get the wheels turning. I feel like for some of you Leos, you probably have felt like for a while, you've been in like a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a stalemate, perhaps. A little bit of where you just feel stuck. And I feel like that tower moment may not have been pleasant experience, may not have been a pleasant experience for you. It was essential. It got, it's starting to get things going now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have two more cards for you. We have the temperance card and the fortitude card. Now, Leo, I, I'm going to be honest, this is like my most recent deck that I've gotten. I'm pretty sure the Fortitude card is the Strength card, which would be your card. Um, and with this Temperance card, it's kind of like, I mean, just even like the basics of the tarot. It's just kind of like, have some strength at this time, pull deep within, continue uh, fighting through during this time, Leo, and have patience, right? You know, this Temperance card, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Leo, right? I'm not going to just sit here and promise rainbows and sunshine and just be like, okay, yeah, see, now that you have that tower moment, honey, like, it's all, like, easy, smooth sailing. I don't see that. <laughs> I see a little bit more struggle, right? Because if this was going to be ending soon or, like, in the immediate future, then we would be seeing, like, a sun card. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be, like, you wouldn't be told to have more strength, to have more fortitude. You wouldn't be told to have some more patience during all this if it was, like, coming to an end, if it was closing off. But the thing is, I know you can make it out. I know you can make it through this. Um, I think you just need to remind yourself, Leo, of, like, ultimately, this all is here to get the wheels turning. Nothing is set in stone right now. Things are probably extremely freaking chaotic in your life right now. And I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to try to play it down. I'm not going to, like, try to pretend like it's something that it isn't. You're going through a hard time right now. Um, but there is a purpose to this struggle. There is a purpose to this pain. Just take that moment to just breathe out, Liam. If you can watch a sunset, honey, I'll watch a sunset tonight and I'll like dedicate it to y'all. I'll even post it on my YouTube and I'll dedicate it to my Leos and piss off all the other zodiac signs. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get into your terror side of things now, Leo. Um, not, uh, we already have. Let's get into the rows now. We're gonna do your first row in regards to my Leos that are interested in their finances and careers. And then we'll do a row in regards to your social situations, my Leo. And then after, we'll just do some closing thoughts, final thoughts with Tarot to wrap up your reading. So let's get into this now. Let's start with the uh, social, not social, the career side of things for my Leos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my goodness, Leo. Oh. <laughs> Not the face you want to be seeing your tarot reader make, huh? <laughs> but, uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to be blunt, right? Um, I like the, in terms of like the struggles, it kind of continues on into like your career and your finances. Honestly, so you have the Five of Wands, which is some conflict, competing goals with other people. So you may not be getting along with some people in your workplace. Work, when you yell like that voice crack getting along with some of the people in your workplace right now um where it's just like i don't know it just feels like in every aspect of your life leo it just feels like you're battling something or someone like it just feels like you're just constantly in a state of needing to defend yourself or needing to fight for yourself right with this queen of swords it's just like you're just really always on guard um because it's just the constant conflict that you're dealing with in your life so i'm real. it's just oh my god i'm like exhausted for you <laughs> Leo. And the Three of Cups comes in here, where it does... This is where... We'll pull some clarifiers for this Three of Cups, Leo, because this could be in one of two ways where it's just like, we could take this as a sign of where it's like... 
more so affirming that you're just not getting along with like other people in your workplace, right? Or this could be foreshadowing to something better. So let's pull some clarifiers to see what's up with that, my Leo. Let's see, let's see. I am gonna be honest though, Leo. Like even though like a lot of like heaviness, like fa my faces, my reactions aside, I really do feel extremely hopeful for how things are going to be. Like, I really do feel like your story is going to be so beautiful soon, Leo. Especially with just like how um, powerful, like the images I was being shown. Leo, you're gonna be so happy soon. Um, so clarifier for the Queen of Swords, the world card. Yeah, you feel, you're just on guard right now because you probably just feel like right now the universe is just out to get you, honey. You just feel as if like every, like, you wake up every single day, Leo, and you're just like, okay, like, and like, you look at your phone and you're just like, oh, like, now we're dealing with this today. Now we're dealing with these struggles. Now these people are trying me today. Now this person's trying to piss me off, right? There's a bunch of like, it's just this constant, like every single day, you just feel like the, like the world is just like going against you right now. Five of Wands comes in with the Six of Swords. Uh, no, it's like the Six of Swords comes in for the Five of Wands, rather. So you're in this place of, I don't know if you have like some past work relationships, like, or, like friendships in the workplace, um, or like the sense of where it's just like, I don't know. I feel like with this energy, I, I can't help but feel like you got along with someone or some ones initially, Leo, especially with that Three of Cups. Like, I feel like you got along with them at one point and then it's just something happened. Or like something happened in your workplace where it's just like disappointment, disappointment, where it's just like you kind of had to walk away, um, or you or there's like this fear that you're gonna have to walk away from a job or something, right? I just get this sense of where it's just like things are just like working out decent, and then they were working out until they weren't. Very much so that tower moment um, for you that we have for your general energies. Uh, Three of Cups, the clarifier that we have is that Temperance card. So <laughs> I acknowledge again, my Leo, like how obnoxious this must sound from someone like me just being like, have patience, because it's just like, well, it's not like you have any other option, right? Right? This voice cards are going to be the death of me, honey. Um, but when you have it on top of the Three of Cups, I feel like... I get the sense that you, things are going to work out, whether this is in regards to a person, I feel like they're going to see their way of how they're treating you as wrong eventually, or just in regards to your work situation, I see it as like things starting to like look, it may not look bright right now, it may look kind of hopeless right now, but remember nothing is set in stone yet. So even though you feel like you're going to have to be walking away, even if you feel like you're going to be laid off and you have to look for another job, I really don't, I feel like it's going to work out for the better, truly. So, my Leos, let's get into your career. Uh, we just did your career, oh my gosh. Let's get into your social situations now, my Leo. Let's see what's going on with that. That temperance card though is really following you though. <laughs> um, let's see here. What cards would be good for your social? We have King of Cups, okay. Seven of okay, seven of swords okay, um, and seven of discs. Leo, it almost feels like you're having to like wash your hands clean of somebody. It's almost like you're kind of like something or someone that you put. Oh, it's not something. I feel like it's someone that you put a lot of energy into at one point. You're kind of having to think for yourself. Well, not that you weren't thinking for yourself before, Leo. I feel as if you have to kind of start choosing yourself in regards to your connection. Um, again, it's kind of like this sense of where you kind of were like, you had, not that you had your eggs in this basket, but you just like, you got along with them initially. And now like, it, you, it was like, you got along into like, things were going good until they weren't, right? I feel like that's kind of like the theme when it comes to the tower moments. Like things were going good until they aren't. And freaking lightning strikes your house in your bedroom, right? <laughs> things are going fine until that moment. Um, so it's interesting to have this reflect in your socials um, as well, my Leo. I really don't. <laughs> um, it like bums me out that I have to give like, I, I know it's probably a heavy reading for a lot of people, Leos, but I feel, I, again, like I just really do feel positively that 
like this tower moment like again like while it causes like sudden changes and shifts it could be shifting you into something really beautiful just have patience right again that patience i want to stop saying patience just because i know how annoying it would be <laughs> but um the clarifier that we have for your king of cups my leo is the ace of swords so this is more so affirmation of answering to yourself leo more so more affirmation of if there are people in your life or there are situations in your life that are not serving you that are not filling up your cup I really do get the sense of just cutting it out. Um, continue answering to, only answer to and continue only going forward. Like the best way to go forward in your life right now, Leo, would be just listening to your intuition. Listening to, we're well, not even, you don't even need to listen to your intuition. Just like think about it from an analytical place. That's how I am. It's just like, okay, King of Cups. Like if, if I were to be having this for myself, I'd be like, okay, King of Cups, and this message was for me. I'd be like, okay. Um, what are my goals right now? I'm trying to elevate myself, trying to push myself in my career, right? So with that logic, I would only allow people in my life that would help elevate me or help motivate me to go further. I wouldn't want to surround myself with people that would uh, want to distract me, that would, or would not necessarily just to block out your goal, but just like aren't serving for what it is that you're putting your seeds into the long term for you. I feel like you're just at a place now Leo, of thinking about how people and things are going to affect your long-term goals in your future, rather than just thinking about the immediate. So the Six of Cups comes in with the Seven of Swords, so this does more so let me know of um, the depth of this connection. Something This has probably been a connection that's been in your life for quite some time now. And the Chariot card comes in with the Seven of Discs. Remember what I was saying? Seven of Discs is like the seeds that you've been planting continue going forward with that that's how you go forward the chariot doesn't show up in your life leo unless you're going down the right path because think about it the chariot's divinely sent to you if you're going down the wrong path the divinity is not going to send a chariot for you to go faster down the wrong path does that make sense um but yeah so whatever that looks like for you in your social situations i just get this sense leo of you just it's not a bad thing i guess is what i'm trying to say if you're looking at people in your life objectively and just realizing like how many of them are just not fitting for the life and the future that like the future that you envision for yourself you're kind of realizing they don't quite fit that image right they don't quite fit that picture and so um don't feel bad about um not no longer prioritizing them in your life anymore and don't feel bad about looking for something new so final thoughts uh, we have the Knave of Cups coming in here. I do, so this is like, so I feel like someone else is coming in for you. I know it's such a cliche to hear in tarot, but I do feel like all this releasing, because you're releasing a lot, I mean, in regards to your work and in regards to your social, you're releasing a lot, even just in emotions. I feel like it's, you're making space almost for like something new coming into your life. Now, this could just not be, I'm saying this as a person, right? But cups do represent opportunities and blessings as well. Um, I kind of just see this as like a blessing of a person though, just because we did just get out of your social situations. Remember what I was saying before, Leo, listen to your intuition. Um, and then I was just like, no, you can just do logic. But like a high priestess card coming in, she's like, mm, honey, listen to your intuition. <laughs> um, uh, Seven of Cups as well in regards to making a decision. I feel like there is a little bit of indecision. And I feel like it's more so just with yourself of being like, oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right decisions? Am I, you know, just like overthinking and feeling as if you're doing something wrong and like you make the wrong move and everything's just going to continue falling apart. But that's not the case. Um final thoughts hierophant comes in as a quite powerful uh <laughs> my little like tarot dweebness came through for a moment uh high priestess is paired with the hierophant uh i say it's really powerful because not only you're being i see the hierophant as being in tune with your higher self as in the high priestess being in tune with the spiritual otherworldly uh, realm and so when these two are together very powerful really in sync with the world eight of swords comes in with the seven of cups so you 
aren't wanting to make a decision in your life because you feel like you can't make a decision because of your environment, which, I mean, just to be blunt, Leo, like, I'm not gonna, <laughs> again, I might step on some toes, honey, but I feel like that's kind of like an excuse you're telling yourself because it's like, you, with that high priestess card coming in, you know the right move. With that higher finch, you know what you need to do. You just don't want to do it because, perhaps, just because of, like, what that's going to sign you up for, right? Then you're just like, oh, I actually have to commit to it, right? Um... I don't know. I feel like you're just so scared of change just because of that tower moment. And understandably, but change is the best thing for you right now, my Leo. And finally, Knave of Cups, the clarifiers, the Three of Cups. So as I was saying before, I really do feel like this is in regard, like a new person coming into your life, right? The Three of Cups is, I mean, it doesn't have to be romantic, right? I mean, I know a lot of people will take it in that way. And I'm not going to tell you which way to take it. Um, because I don't know. <laughs> I uh, get the sense that you're making space for people that actually will be conducive for your life. That will really, like, elevate you rather than distract you. So, my Leo, that's the cards that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones did. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, my Leo. And just remember, things are going to work out for you. Take a moment to breathe. Things are not set in stone right now. I know it's really crazy for you. I know, um probably just feel like giving up but have patience honey last time i say it i promise a lot last time but i love you so much leo um and i will connect with you soon bye